everybody. Hey, my Geminis, and welcome to the extended version of the September 2019 general reading. All right. Um, if you haven't seen the original or the uh, general, the general version, the one that is uh, free, uh, please check that out so that you uh, know where we left off and then come on back and check this out. Uh, so we're going to go a little bit more into detail in reference to this uh, change, this metamorphosis that you as Gemini are going through. And uh, those who are not Gemini are definitely welcome as well. You could be the one on the receiving end of this behavior or you could be the one behaving this way to Gemini. All right. So we talked about the uh, current energy, which is the truth, being truthful about what was going on in your past. All right, so we have the Ace of Swords here as the current energy. So we're going to clarify that with the Death card in reverse. All right, the Death card in reverse shows up twice here. Okay, so this is you definitely going through a transformation. Okay, accepting the fact of what went on and, and how you behaved or the behavior that you were uh, subjected to. Accepting the truth in the matter of the situation. Realizing and reminiscing about it. And we're going to clarify that Six of Cups in reverse, too, and see what it is that you're reminiscing about. Obviously, the behavior, but let's see if we can get more specific information. Yeah, you wanted this to come, you want this to come to an end, okay? This behavior is coming to an end. So this is telling me that you um, have already transformed. You've already realized the error of your ways. You realize the truth of the matter and that you have already transformed. That's, that's that's definite progress. That's great. Now let's talk about the past energy, this king of cups and reverse energy. This is narcissistic, sociopathic, psychopathic behavior, drinking, alcohol, drugs, any type of addictive uh, uh, behavior that is, uh, you know, keeping you to the point where you are not able to, uh, <clears throat> well, had to transform. Sun card in reverse. Okay, so this is saying that, you know, the universe is rocking with you, but you got to make changes. All right, changes, good things are coming to you. This is the sun card in reverse. Good things are coming, but you got to do some work. But you're going to get there. You're going to get there. You're changing your ways. This is a beautiful thing. And so as a result, once you completely change your ways and heal, because all you have to do is heal, you change yourself. But now you need to heal. And once you heal... This is what the universe is saying. This is the best card in the deck. So this is a lot of work that you will have to do, but you can do it and you will be very successful with it. All you have to do is go within. Listen to your higher voice. Now let's take a look at this Nine of Wands energy. Yeah, this popped right out. The Nine of Wands is in the current future, or I mean the recent past. This is someone being defensive, possibly being defensive to this uh, negative behavior that you were subjecting them to or that you were subjected to. And this is Page of Swords. So yeah, this is someone stalking someone. Someone could have been defending themselves and, and did things to move away from this person. Okay, and this person was still watching them, trying to find out where they were, trying to get access to them. Or this is the person that you hurt and now you're just watching them because you still love them. You still love them. You're just trying to see where they are, they're at. And you want to make a love offer to them in the immediate future. But let's take a look at the crowning energy, which is the Two of Cups. You still love this person. So let's clarify the Two of Cups. We clarify the Two of Cups with the uh, Six of Swords in Reverse. Yeah, you want to come back to this person. This could be somebody who is uh, not in the immediate area. Somebody that you need to travel to. But you definitely want to go back to this person. You want to make things right. Or you're stuck in between, should I reach out or should I not reach out? But you definitely, this person is definitely on your mind. And you're definitely contemplating reaching out. Because we have for your future energy here, the page of cups. And this is just extending an olive branch. Okay, so let's clarify this page of cups here. And see what this is saying. Why do we have the page of cups here in the future? <clears throat> Clarify the Page of Cups for the future actions of Gemini, September 2019. Queen of Cups. Yeah, so you're offering...
to someone who's been emotionally abused. Because we got the King of Cups here. Okay, and now we got the Queen of Cups in reverse. Now this is representing somebody who could have been abusive to you as well. Okay, so take the energy how it resonates. But you're, you're going back to someone who was abusive to you. Okay, or you're going back to someone that you were abusive to. You know, you want to extend uh, a love branch. And this is um, feminine energy. So this is Pisces energy as well. Okay, so the masculine part of the energy is that the actions you took. So the masculine part of this was you actually physically, you know, spitting negative energy, you know, spewing negative words, could have been verbally abusive, you acting in a manip manipulative manner, narcissistic manner, you acting out. But the emotional part of it, you remembering what you did, you um, understanding you know, um, what kind of pain you may have caused this person. This is the feminine aspect of it, the emotions and feelings, dealing with the emotions and feelings of it. So this person that you want to reach out to, they're still dealing with the, emo the emotional and physical abuse, the ramifications of it. Okay, because they're not to the point where they would be 100% willing to accept you back yet. Because they're still reminiscing about this, this pain you caused them. They're still in pain, I'm sure, based on this card. Now, your fear is the three of swords. So your fear is heartbreak. But let's clarify what heartbreak you're referring to. Is this that they're going to reject you? Or is it that you fear the damage that you've done to this person? And you know that you've had them in a third-party situation because we have we have the, king, uh, the six of swords here. And with that, that's given to two people. Okay? It could be given to more than two. But you're definitely seeing somebody else. So there's definitely a third-party situation. All right, so let's clarify this Three of Swords here. We have that clarified with the Seven of Swords. This is Gemini energy. Yeah, this is you purposely doing what you want, purposely seeing other people being deceitful. You knew exactly what you were doing, and you were doing it with intent. So perhaps, you know, when we did pull, we pulled this dark mirror image and it was for revenge. So perhaps you were acting this way because this is someone who's deliberately taking advantage of someone. So perhaps you were doing this for revenge. Perhaps this person upset you and so you, um, your intent is revenge. Perhaps this person left you and now your intent to go back to them is, is for revenge. But Or maybe you fear that they will seek revenge on you when you go back. That's more of what I'm getting. Wow. Now let's take a look at this Knight of Swords in reverse. Because this is how people see you. Because the Knight of Swords is in reverse is not a good person. People don't see you as a good person at all. So there could have been friends, family members, or this person that you subjected this negative energy to. Who are looking at you like, wow, really? Come on, man. Come on, woman. And we have that clarified with the Hierophant. Yeah. So this could very well represent the fact that you um, are looking for spiritual guidance. Going within, realizing how you were. This could also represent, again, like I said, someone going to court. Okay, because the Hierophant can represent a higher deity in reference to um, the law of the land here in the 3D realm. Okay, so this could be a spiritual counselor, a pastor, um, emotional counseling okay any type of counseling this could represent so people see you as somebody who needs help they see you as somebody who's hurt and who needs help all right and you know that's something that you could definitely get but you have to be to the point where you're ready for that you know maybe going in spiritually uh, tapping into your spirituality, tapping into your intuition will help you to get through these things. And let's talk about the three of coins here because that's what's in your that's what's in your um, in your hopes. Three of coins. Let's clarify three of coins. We clarify the three of coins with the high priestess in reverse. So you want to work on this and you want to talk about it. You want to you want to reveal all the secrets. You don't want to hold back. 
You're willing to work and do what, oh, this is a beautiful thing, Gemini. You're willing to work on this. You're willing to do whatever you need to do. You're willing to communicate because when the high priestess is in reverse, she's revealing secrets. All right. She is the keeper of secrets in the upright. Um, she's the keeper of secrets and she's very intuitive. So this means that, you know, you're going to be less in your head about this because, you know, Gemini is their air energy. And you're just going to go ahead and just communicate what's in your heart and what's in your soul so that you can work through this. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Now, the outcome is the Five of Wands. So let's see what this outcome represents here. Why do we have the Five of Wands as the outcome? Why is the Five of Wands the outcome here? Five of Wands is clarified by the Ten of Swords in Reverse. So, yeah, you're tired of all this drama. You are done with all this drama. Look at Ten of Wands in Reverse. This is somebody who is done, someone who is free, someone who wants freedom from this, someone who's actually obtained freedom or is right on the brink of doing so, which is why we have here the sun car in reverse. You're right there. Keep doing what you're doing. Perhaps you are seeking spiritual counseling, okay, where you're able to communicate and express, you know, what's going on with you because you're, you, you, you've been through a lot. You've been through a lot, and you're ready to let go. That's a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful thing. Now, I want to get you an, uh, um, I think a crystal oracle, a crystal angel's oracle would help as well, because um, this will give you a stone that you can, this will give you a stone that you can work with. Um, I work with stones as well, and it's helped me uh, tremendously. So let's see what spirit has to say for you. And what stone they want you to work with in reference to this situation. So Spirit, please provide guidance and insight through me to the sign of Pikes of uh, sorry, sign of Gemini for September 2019. Some of you could be dealing with a Pisces. What do we have for Gemini for September 2019? All right, Kai Night. Kai Night. Kainai says, make time for self-care. Taking care of yourself is essential right now. So yeah, you're dealing with a lot of depression. You're dealing with a transformative energy. You just come out of a transformative stage where in the past you may have thought one way and you realize that, you know, that that wasn't the best way for you. So right now your body needs to heal. Your spirit and your soul needs to heal because you've been working really hard, you know. You've been working hard against yourself, and now you're trying to counteract that. And that takes a lot of energy, you know. You're trying to heal and move on. So let's take a look at Kainite and see how this will help you. So it says taking care of yourself is essential right now, okay. So this card comes up whenever you've been putting your own needs last on your list. It is a sign of being overly busy and not that you have enough time for rest, exercise, healthful eating, spiritual practices, and other forms of self-care. So this card emphasizes that self-care isn't optional, but necessary for your health, happiness, and life purpose. God and your angels want to elevate your life so that you no longer feel oppressed or victimized. This message is here. Uh, this message here that, uh, oh my God, this, <laughs> the message here is that not only do you deserve self-care, but you must carve out time for it without delay. The urgency comes in answer to your prayers for a better life. God has given you the strength to take the first step yourself by adding self-care to your daily schedule and deleting unwanted tasks. It's time for you to say no to distractions and yes to priorities, which includes self-care. About the stone. This stone um, although the stone comes in various colors, the name kyanite stems from the Greek word for blue. Kyanite is a wonderful bridge stone, balancing your energy and your life. So you, like I say, when I talk about the stones, you can purchase this stone. Um, if you want to know where to purchase it, check your um, Google, your local area where you can buy crystals. So Google, you know, crystals and you know 518 if that's your area code or you know crystals in zip code 13508 you know or crystal shops or where you can purchase crystals locally and 
and um, check to see if you have any crystal shops. If so, give them a call up and see if they have kyanite. If not, you can go online. There's various sources. You do want to verify, though, when you go online that you're buying from someone that has authentic crystals. You know, you don't want to get fakes. Um, that's the only uh, discrepancy that I would have in reference to buying crystals. It's just make sure, if you can, you know, by, by inquiring, asking questions. Where do you get the crystal? Do some research on a crystal. Find out where it's from, where it's formed. I would be leery of buying anything that comes out of China when it comes to um, crystals. Because you may not be getting authentic crystals, okay? Um, there's a big market for fake crystals and things like that, which is why you got to be careful on platforms like eBay, um, so, yeah, eBay, Amazon, Etsy, places like that. You got to be careful because you might be getting imposters. So look for a small crystal shop in your area or look for crystal shops online. A lot of the crystal shops that are out here that sell authentic crystals do offer an online platform where you're able to order from their store. But put the crystal under your pillow for like maybe two weeks or maybe even a month. And then every morning you wake up, write down whatever you experienced in your dream. Record it on your phone if you can't write down quick enough. But whatever you remember, whether it's only the fact that you were outside, just write it down. Write down how you felt. If you can remember how you felt in the dream, write down how you felt as well. Now, at the end of this two-week period or this one-month period of documenting what you dreamed of. Some nights you may not dream, some you may. Some dreams you may remember more so, some you might not. Just write down what you remember. If you didn't remember anything, then you can't write anything down. Go to the next night. And do that for a two-week period. Recommend it a month. That way you really get acclimated with the stone and the stone will start speaking to you. All right? And then at the end of that two-week period or that month, you can look back at what you were, what you wrote down or what you recorded. And just try to tap into that energy and see and meditate on that energy and just see what you get out of it. See if you can figure out what your subconscious is telling you. Because what happens is we're out here and about here all day. We use about 10% of our brain. The rest of it is, is subconscious brain that we don't use every day in everyday activity. But it's being used. Don't think it's not. All right? So it's taking in energies that you can't see. Okay? The things that are just based on pure energy. And your subconscious is taking that in as you're out and about doing your thing, all right? And then at night, you're getting these downloads from the subconscious. Like, hey, you know, you may be over there collecting blue rocks. Your subconscious is over here collecting green. The majority of the frequencies that come through could be on that green frequency wave. So you're not able to see those. But the way that you are able to see it is by communicating with and connecting with your subconscious. That's why it's important that you dream. So if you don't dream, I recommend that you get the stone, you put it under your pillow and sleep under it for 30 days. Every morning you wake up, whatever you dream about, if you dream about something, write it down. If you don't dream about anything for 30 days, then maybe try a different stone. Maybe that's not the stone for you. But you should start getting some type of downloads. If you don't do anything but use amethyst, okay, you look, up to, look up intuitive stones. Stones that will help you connect to your intuitive. These are stones that are usually associated with the set, the uh, first chakra. All right, so Gemini, I hope this was helpful to you. If so, please leave me a comment if you want to uh, leave a comment. Otherwise, just click the like button. Just let me know. I would be greatly appreciative because I'm hoping that and wishing you the best in this situation. I'm hoping that you overcome this. And I hope that you have all the love and support that you could need, especially if you are really ready to change your ways. All right, because everybody deserves a chance to be different and to change. And there's no reason why you shouldn't have the support you need. So I pray that you have it. And um, in reference to love, just being truthful with the person. They may not take you back, but just be honest with them and let them know what's going on. And then if they do consider communicating with them, give them some space. Let them know how you feel. Give them some space. They may not want you back. You have to accept that. But you have to be, if you love this person, keep it 100 with them. At least let them know that you are remorseful for your behavior and that you regret the way things went, even if you can't fix it, that you truly regret it and you're remorseful. And then that will help you to move on, regardless to what they think or if they're going to take you back or not. That's going to help you to start your healing as well because you have to forgive yourself also. You know better now. Knowing better, now you got to do the work. And I wish you the best on that. I love you, Gemini, and I got your back. So I'll see you in two weeks. We'll check on you to see how you're doing. Take care.